Vampires can hunt, they can feed, and they can kill without remorse. But what if I told you there was a better way to go about everything in the game? A system so powerful, it can completely change everything, from PvP confrontations to taking on those powerful V-Blood units. Hey there, friends, it's Kodiak here. Welcome back to Legacy Gaming. It's time to dive back into V-Rising and break down one of the most consequential systems in the game, Prisoners. V-Rising has catapulted into the mainstream, and we knew it would. The game is polished, it's wildly addicting, and the systems are incredibly smart. Now, we already talked about the servant system in the game, and if you want some great information, definitely check out that video. But today, we're tackling something completely different, the prison system. I kid you not, guys, with just a little bit of luck and some work, you could easily take over a server as the most consistently powerful vampire on the map. Don't believe me? Let's break this down. Much like the servant system, the first step to the prison system is finding a human and breaking their will. The goal here is simple. There are six blood types currently in the game. Creature, warrior, brute, scholar, rogue, and worker. All of those, excluding creature, are tied to humans. What we're aiming to do is dominate the mind of five humans, each with 100% blood quality and one of each type. It sounds like a lot of work, but the prison system will allow us to feed indefinitely off these targets forever and obtain their blood type buff. We've seen the question a ton on our Wish I Knew Sooner tips and tricks video, a great place to start if you're relatively new to the game or genre. The question is, how do I replenish the blood that I already have? The short answer is, you can't, unless you have a prisoner with the blood type and quality that you want. Now, before we get into the nuances of the system, there's a V-Blood unit you need to kill first, Vincent the Frostbringer, a level 40 warrior that patrols a constant loop around Dunley Farmlands. Once killed, you'll unlock the prison, and this is really the start of our glorious adventure. Once you've built a couple prisons, you can begin your hunt for the five 100% humans I mentioned before. Keep in mind, dominating their minds works exactly the same as it does with the servant system. You get a unit down to 30%, then use the dominating presence vampire power and bend the will of your target to your needs. Remember that you can't use spells or change into a travel form when someone is under your control, but you can use a horse, which we highly recommend. Mount up, gallop straight to your base, and pop your new human into a prison cell. This is where things get really exciting. If you interact with the cage, you'll see an entirely new interface pop up. Notice first the blood type, health bar, and misery stats towards the top. You'll need to balance the health and misery of your prisoner in order to keep them alive. Below that, you'll see charm and kill. Kill is pretty self-explanatory, but charm allows you to take them back out of the cage if you want to move them around or turn them into a servant instead. You can also move the cage around the base with a prisoner inside. Just a convenient little tip. Finally, below that, you'll see the real reason we're making this video. Six options, one of which is Drain Blood. As long as you have access to glass bottles, a recipe you can pick up from Christina the Sun Priestess near Dawnbreak Village in the Dunley Farmlands, you'll be able to extract a vial of blood from your prisoner. The blood you extract is the same type and quality as the blood of the unit itself, which is why if you get five humans, one of each type, each at 100% blood quality, you'll have a never-ending supply of the highest quality blood in the game. Now, there is a catch to all this. You need to keep these targets alive. For every vial of blood you extract or essence you take from a prisoner, they'll take damage, and their misery will increase. The more misery a target has, the more damage that they take from your actions. Lucky for us, there is a way to offset both, either by feeding the prisoner rats or fish. Sadly, this means you're going to have to fish quite a bit if we want to keep our prisoner's misery in check, but it's a small price to pay for something so powerful. You could also farm the dock area in Brighthaven for potential fish drops, which is what Livid prefers to do. One final point of advice, make sure you have the prison floors down in the same room as your prison cells. This will reduce the amount of damage prisoners take by 25%. A fair warning, this is part of the T3 research bench, so it might be a bit further along in progression, so just keep an eye out. To put it all into perspective, getting a fully functioning prison within your castle isn't that hard, and Vincent the Frostbringer, that V-Blood unit I mentioned before that unlocks the prison cells, is actually considered an early to mid-game target, so you can get this going within the first day or two of playing the game. Think about that for a second, an endless supply of 100% blood that you can tap into at any time. It's a game changer. 
we do already have a video breaking down all of the different blood types in the game and sharing our rankings for each type, so check that out if you want more information. Bottom line, the prison system is insane and can completely transform your time in V Rising. So go put in the work and start dominating some minds. Anyways, guys, you know we like to keep these videos nice and short, so we'll leave it there. If you have any questions about the prison system, feel free to leave us a comment in the section below. And as always, if you find our short and to the point guides helpful, do me a solid, hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing. It's still the single best way to help channels like ours reach new audiences. We also invite you to join us on Discord. We've got a great community of over 20,000 members with a special section dedicated just for V Rising. So if you're looking to join, check out the link below. Finally, if you want to help us out even more, you can do so by becoming a member. For just a few bucks, you're helping Livid and I achieve our dreams of becoming full-time content creators. Check out the join button below to learn more. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching and play on.